Okay, so this is the Article 14 of the Constitution of India, which states the state shall not deny to any person equality before the law or the equal protection of the laws within the territory of India. Pretty good, pretty damn good, pretty damn good line here. I like it, I like it, I like it. But right now, a lot of people say that equality is being threatened that the ruling party, the BJP, has an agenda to make India a Hindu nation. They say the latest sign of that is a law passed in December called the Citizenship Amendment Act. The act offers a pathway to becoming an Indian citizen for migrants who arrived before 2015 from these countries and who belong to these religions. And who, be and who belong to these religions? This is the heart. This is the part of the Citizenship Amendment Act, which threatens a secularism. I would want. I want to say India, but given that India is the second most populated country in the world, I would like to say that this is a threat to secularism. Secularism on a global scale. If anybody cares about secularism. And they're not paying attention to this. Secularism as a concept globally has not been challenged by this scale anywhere at any time in our lifetime, right? Like this is the, like for for pro secular activists, this is an assault to the values that you are trying to protect more than anything else that you will ever experience. Again, we have an act, we have an amend citizenship amendment act, what defines you as an Indian on a, on a country, on, one, on, the most popula on the most populated secular country in the world, number one most popular uh, populated uh, secular country in the world. So I don't consider China to be secular at all. I do still consider India to be secular. So the most populated secular country in the world is now passing a law that discriminates, that makes decisions on people, on their citizens, based on religion. Anything, any excuse people bring is just to divert at their, your attention away from this. If they say like, Oh, but we're helping the Hindus and the Sikhs and the Buddhists and the Jains and the Parsis and the Christians. How is that a bad thing? Are you guys against us helping the refugees? Is this like, is that what you're against? Everything they say, it's a distraction from the fact that they're introducing an amendment act that decides what policies to use on people based on their religion in a country that is supposed to be secular. So um, the way I like to explain this whole CAA and RC situation in India uh, and the way secularism is under attack um, for because I think the fact that it works in two parts confuses a lot of people and gives the people who want to defend um, all this crap, all this Hindu nationalism, all this Pakistanization of India um, uh, by like kind of like pulling a trick on them like, oh, no, this is not about that. And, like, and this is also not about that. Like because there's so many moving parts, it's easy to confuse people who are not really paying that much attention. Right. So the way for me, I want to simplify it. And you guys tell me if this works or not. Okay. Uh, I say, like, imagine you have a country and you have the orange people and you have green people, okay? Um, and the orange people and green people, there are certain, um, uh, certain groups of these people that live in this country and there are certain groups of them that they don't, okay? But, yeah, actually that's not relevant. But the, the orange people and green people sometimes go very hungry and they're starving, okay? So you decide to pass a law that 
you provide food for orange people. Okay? And you're like, why not just hungry people? I like what we're feeding somebody. Like maybe orange people are, because we notice orange people are more hungry. So we're gonna say we're gonna feed, we're gonna provide food for orange people. Like, okay, you are deciding to focus on feeding orange people because you notice they go more hungry. But if you just say we're gonna feed hungry people, then if orange people are more hungry, you're gonna be targeting orange people more anyways. So why not just say we're gonna feed hungry people? And in case there's a situation where green people get more hungry, then this new law that you're passing, it's not gonna backfire, you know, it's not gonna leave them out. They're like, okay, don't, don't worry about it. We could still feed green people. We could do that. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. And like, yeah, okay, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. But you're passing a law that says we're going to feed orange people. There's something. What's happening here? There's something happening here, right? Um, like no, th like, and then they could object. Like, dude, we're passing. We don't have a law right now that says we should feed orange people, and now we're passing a law that says we should feed. You know, that we should feed. We can't feed orange people. Like, we're may so. What are you? Are you against feeding hungry people? Like, are you against? Like, you want them to starve? So like. I'm not no, I'm not saying that, but it seems like it seems like the law is doing something that I'm not noticing. Like you guys seem to have a different agenda than just feeding hungry people here. Okay. So that's the first part. Now on the side, you guys getting me? You guys understand? And another uh, things are just passing around. And it seems like they're saying, like, okay, separate from this, forget that. Forget everything we just said. There's nothing happening. Okay. They're saying forget that, but don't forget that, okay? That's a trick. We are going, everybody that wants food, wants to buy food, they need to have, they need to have a registration card. They need to have a registration card. And you need to have your documents ready. You have to bring your documents for us to give you a registration card. Anybody that wants to buy food. Um, and like, well, I mean like, well, some people don't have documents. Especially poor people, they don't have the documents, and and they and they're like, wait a minute. Uh, it, a lot of these. So now, this is not targeting. Oh, this is not targeting group. This is not targeting orange people or green people, right? It's not targeting orange people or green people. Anybody, whether they're orange or green, if they're poor and they don't have their documents, there it's going to be difficult for them to get their registration card so that they could go get food. But the orange people, they're getting fed, right? That other thing that they told you to forgot, forget, they're going to be able to use that even if they don't have that registration card, right? So you see how it works with each other? So now both orange people and green people are being denied food if they don't have the registration card, but the orange people have a way out. So that's how it works together. But now change food to citizenship and change color to religion. The fact that it's not food, it's citizenship, that means this whole thing is changing what it means for somebody to be an Indian. And the fact that it's not color, it's religion, it means that this is undoing the secularism of India. And the fact that they're related, that the citizenship is based now tied to religion, that means that India is going more from being more in favor of being a Hindu country than a secular country. Because you being an Indian is being tied to being Hindu. Again, this is the most populated secular country in the world 
chipping away from its secularism. If you're on the side of secularism, if you're on the side of enlightenment values, there are rarely this great of a threat to these values on such a scale that, that would affect such high number of people than this example. If you are a secular activist, it doesn't matter if you're in India or if you're not in, in India. This is a battle that you should be fighting. We cannot pretend to be on the side of enlightenment values and ignore this. Anybody that tells you you're not an Indian and you have no business talking about this, you could tell them to go This is our this is about our fellow human beings.